Here we are with my longtime buddy, Randy, now the director of the Pendleton Roundup. Congratulations. Publicity on that. director. Okay, okay, publicity director. One of 16. So, I mean, the, the Pendleton Roundup has been around for how many years now? 107, since 1910. What is it that makes the Pendleton Roundup so special for everybody around, across the country? I get asked that a lot, and you know what I really think it is? I think it was the agricultural community and their family dynamic, and that dynamic as if your barn blows down, we're gonna come build you a barn. That is what drives this thing, and although it's in the middle of the city, it's in the middle of now a, kind of a big business sort of a thing, mm -hmm. it's still the ag families that are driving this. <laughs> What will be something unique that they will see at this rodeo that they might not see at another rodeo? Well, you're giving me a softball question yeah, there yeah. because what they'll see here is they'll see a grass arena. It'll be like an old time ranch. We have old style buck, wooden bucking shoes that are painted colorful instead of, most other rodeos use this type of a gate uh -huh. and we have these historic wooden bucking shoes that are fabulous. And then uh, what about the Indian races? Is that unique? That it, well, there's a circuit of Indian relay races uh -huh. that run around, but this one is unique in the fact that, you know, it's around this grass field. But the Indian relay race is one of our fans' favorites. It's always been a fan favorite. And it's one of the things that the tribe had going on here long before even Lewis and Clark came through. The, you have the Happy Canyon show at, at night. Tell us about that. Well, the directors got together and they met up with some tribal members that wrote a script in 1916 and it told the story of the tribes being at, you know, at peace and, and, and living on the land and everything and then Lewis and Clark come through. Life is disrupted for them with the uh, pioneers coming through. They're, eventually they're banished off to the reservation and then the scene set changes and it becomes a kind of a vaudevillian second half Wild West street front scene. I have a cameo in it and I have a feeling I'm one of the bad guys. You you are one of the interesting characters because I think I think they got you crawling out a brothel window tonight as the hotel catches fire. So thanks so much again for the invitation to the roundup and now I'll send it back to you guys.